And now to the national attention we're getting, landing at our local airport today. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg checked in to see how federal funds are going towards safety efforts at Clinton Airport. After some close calls at airports on the ground across the country, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg visits Little Rock's airport to check in on the plans here to improve our runways. In the same way that we would respond to a collision or a crash, we're going to make sure we respond to these close calls so that none of them turn into a collision or a crash. That response in the form of $41 million to support a $60 million runway renovation. The airport's executive director explaining. This project removes other non-standard taxiway to runway intersections and makes them safer. The national push for runway safety comes after an increase in close calls for aircraft accidents happening on the ground. To be clear, they remain extremely rare. They've happened in the past at a pace of about once per month, but right now we're seeing it almost double that. The secretary wants to refocus on safety basics after the pandemic's volatile impact on air travel. Wednesday's visit closely following an FAA safety summit. Part of this has to do with that swift return to air travel, which while good economic news means we need to keep up on the safety side. All as more passengers return to the skies. Our passenger traffic is up 20% so far for 2023, and we have more than 2 million passengers last year and over 82,000 operations on the airfield. The construction is expected to finish up in 2024. The secretary now heads to Dallas for a similar visit. Reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. Thanks, Sarah. In addition, LIT recently got an $8 million grant to build a new baggage claim and concourse. The executive director says the number of passengers nowadays is four times higher than the airport was originally designed for.